All right, good job, guys. Good job. We're almost there. Just a little bit further. Oh, no. I'm out of treats. <gasps> Thank goodness, a treat bag. Okay. Oh. All right, you guys, get ready to jump. Domino, catch this. Oh, dang it. He didn't catch it in time. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Fumble fingers activate. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so somebody just got a whole bunch of fame. Good job, Maximus. Oh, my gosh. It's been so long. It's been so long. I'm sorry, puppers. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm trying to untangle us. Oh, the snow is so treacherous. Okay, go, 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 go. Faster, faster, faster. The pups do not need to wrestle with my fumble fingers. Oh my goodness, Maximus, I think you just got so much fame from that. All right, go, 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 guys. Come on, come on, come on. We're just in fifth place. We can totally do better than this. We need the money. We need the money if we're gonna be able to take care of all the puppies. All right, go, 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 go. And, oh, not the wind. All right, hopefully we'll be able to handle that. Come on, pups. Oh, and you even tried to lunge for the treat. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on, untangle the line. Oh no. Come on, Striker, come on. We've got this. We've worked together as a team for so many years now. We've got this, guys. All right, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. All right, we made it to second, you guys. We just need to keep this up a little bit longer. I have such an expert team. This was totally, oh, second place. All right, better than nothing. And hello everyone, and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga. I believe this is actually our third year with the team. The winter snows have finally arrived and it is finally time for us to return to our sled dogs. Let's go back to the kennel and give everybody a good rest. Oh my gosh. Good job, Max. You really worked so hard. Striker, you did fantastic. These are my expert dogs. We have had them for quite a while. There you go, Harmony. I'm really sorry about the exhaustion, but I'm glad that it's a pretty low rate. Oh, and Harmony likes Maximus more. Oh, and Maximus, look at you. All of those perfects. Oh, you're gonna need a good rest after that, though. And you got a ton of fame, oh my gosh. <gasps> look at Maximus's fame! It just went up another level. That's fantastic. The better our dogs run and the more they're able to catch very fancy trick treats as I toss them while we're racing, the more fame they get. I think Domino is actually our most famous dog, though. Oh, it's been so long. Fame level seven. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. And we're back. So yes, we are back. Some of you who might be new might be wondering what the heck is going on. And those of you who have been around for one winter after another know that every winter we like to spend at least a few days with our sled dogs. Winter may not be very long this year, but I think we at least have uh, 12 good days of adventure ahead of us. And we'll have to see how far we can get because last time, and let's go ahead and give all of our puppers a little pet. Last time we finished off having expanded the kennels and having bred up one of our most famous puppers ever, little Mary, who is actually right over here. Mary, who is adorable, is the child of a couple of our sled dogs, and it doesn't it doesn't quite mention who she's the child of, uh, and she's only building a little bit of rapport with the rest of the team. But Mary, we like to imagine, is our special Christmas puppy, and she actually likes to wear a Christmas wreath around her neck as kind of like her decoration. So we had her born last time. If you guys are interested in that, definitely check out our previous seasons. But if you are not, or if you just want to dive in right here, I'll explain really quickly what we're up to. We're racing puppers. In case you couldn't, you know, get that from the fact that we were in a sled tossing treats racing across the snows. But we have been running this sled dog uh, kennel for quite some time and we have done quite a good job. We actually have some very, very famous dogs in here, including Max. I'm pretty sure Max, whose favorite thing is petting, by the way, uh, does have really high fame. Yeah, fame level 12 pretty darn sure with 600 days, almost two years on the team, that this wonderful husky is the most famous of all of the dogs that we actually have in our kennel. But we have um, basically a strike team of racers. Fantastic. Fully trained. Their skills are maxed out and they happen to know each other quite well. And I am proud to be their owner. 
But what are we doing? So we are continuing to try to run our dog kennel and I am really looking forward to tackling a few of the things that uh, would make us the most famous dog kennel in all of the snowy valley. And that includes trying to go ahead and apply for League 7. We were in League 7 for just a brief moment there and then we actually got kicked out because we fumbled on a couple races. We are currently a League 6 member when it comes to a sled dog racing. Like I said, there's lots and lots of adventures in the past if you want to check them out. If not, welcome to a successful team who has dreams of being the best around. And that is going to be our biggest goal. Getting into League 7. But on top of getting into League 7, I'm also very curious to maybe get some new sled dogs into our team because when I was checking things, I realized that this is our little notebook, by the way. This wonderful little black notebook has been with us for years as we jot down all of these insights, inspirations, and notes about our dogs and how to race very well. We also have this old guy named Raleigh who shows up now and then, but he's gotten older and crankier and has fewer and fewer things to tell us of late, but this will have information about how to actually become a really great sled dog racer, and it has a lot of information about the different kinds of dogs that we could have in our sled racing. And I noticed something when I was glancing over all of these things, my friends. We do not yet have, dun 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 dun, all of the breeds of animal added in just yet. So, we're experienced sled dog racers. We dream of being the best in the entire snowy valley. So why not go ahead and experiment with some new breeds of dog? Right now, we have gone ahead and at some point in the past, we have worked with Huskies. We have also worked with White Huskies, Brown Huskies, Chocolate Labs, Yellow Labs, St. Bernards, Malamutes, Samoyeds, German Shepherds, and that's about it. We don't have any other sled dogs that we have had, uh, like other types of sled dogs that we have had consistently on our team. So there is one, there is two, three different kinds of dog that I would really love to be able to go ahead and add into the family. And to do that, we can actually do a couple things. We can go ahead and we can hire new dogs, which let's see, Yellow Lab, White Husky, Black Lab, that's a St. Bernard. Hmm, so it doesn't look like there's any new types of dogs right here that we could hire in just yet. Whoops, <laughs> okay, and we just let the day go by. Didn't mean to do that, definitely didn't mean to do that. I hope I didn't let the day go by. No, I think it was just they were reiterating how skilled our current dogs are. Okay, wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and give everybody pets. They're all so happy about that. But we could hire a new dog over here, uh, or we could go ahead and even try breeding some more puppers, which is something I think I definitely want to do. Uh, I really want to try breeding our dogs more so that we can have even more famous puppies. And I love the idea of them possibly showing up in our Sims 4 series somehow, so keep your eyes out for that as well. So yeah, last time we actually had little Mary born. She's a Samoyed. I can't remember who her parents are, but I'm pretty sure it was Stryker and Domino. Maybe Stryker and Max? I'm pretty sure it was Stryker and, oh yeah, it was Max because she's related to Max. Okay. But we can't do any breeding of our dogs right now because our kennel is actually 100% full, as you can see. So one of the other things that we can work on during this sled dog racing is expanding our kennel by building it bigger and better than ever so that we can have two more puppers. Each dog we add in does add quite a bit more of a cost though, so we do want to be a little bit wary about that because how do you make your millions? By going on races and being the best there is. We also have a whole bunch of freaking expenses. I have to pay the jerk, who is a jerk, who we used to be on a lot of races with, 3,000, 3,000 every month he wants in order to stick around and be a jerk and help me take care of my dogs. He does a good job of it though. 
And then our, the more dogs you have and the higher the league you're in, then the higher the expense for your registration. So every month I pay $21,000 to keep my dogs registered in the league. And the league dues are $1,000 per level you're in. So we're paying through the nose for so many things and we only have a little bit of sponsorship funding to offset it right now. So I'm thinking what we may want to do is let a few of these puppers go ahead and find happy homes that aren't part of the league and then bring in some new puppers too. And that would be a little bit hard, but it's a new year and we're ready for a fresh start. So I think I want to keep our strike team, like the absolute best racers we have. And I think that Mary, as much as I love her and as much as she is like our little mascot, she might potentially end up going and and being adopted, but no, I can't do it. I can't do it. We have to keep Mary. Yuki might be the one that we uh, have adopted out. Rudolph is really struggling to adjust. All of the races we go on are just a little bit too much for his poor self. We might take him on this granola township to somewhere uh, race because it's a short race with five dogs, so he might be okay in it. Rudolph, do we even know? He will never get tangled because his skill is tangle free. Um, he is greedy though, so he will actually sometimes empty the entire bag of treats. That's so dangerous. I don't know if we could have a greedy Labrador steal all of the treats in the middle of a race. And his favorite thing is to do consecutive catches where he catches multiple treats uh, over and over. So, and he is, um, we don't know his specialty yet. We've had him in the middle. I pretty much only need dogs for the middle at this point. And he doesn't really have any rapport with any dogs or any fame yet. So Rudolph, he may not, he may be a little bit of a sled dog washout. Uh, and Yuki might be ready for retirement. She's fame level nine. She was on the team for the last season. She's, oh, but she is wheel level three. Hmm. And she does love victory. Hmm. All right, who else is our wheel dog? I think we have two wheel dogs. You can see when you look at their skill. Okay, yeah, Striker's a middle dog. Max is, and Max is our wheel dog. <laughs> He's kind of literally the most famous dog we have with a fame level 10. Uh, pretty darn sure. Domino, are you more famous? No, you're, you're, wait, you're fame level 11. <gasps> when did that happen? When did Domino pass up Max on fame? Oh my gosh. Well, we'll worry about all of that later. We need to do some more racing. But I think after today's races, we might go ahead, Rudolph and Yuki might find a new home. We'll make a little bit of room so that we can potentially do some breeding and we will keep our eyes out for some of the puppers that we have not yet gotten any notes on in what kind of breeds we could potentially erase. So enough of all of that nonsense. Now that you guys know what's going on, you can see the jerk is busy training up a bunch of puppers. Um, gives extra attention to reduce fatigue. I think I'm gonna go ahead and have... So the jerk, when he does caretaking, actually can take care of my dogs who are fatigued. Maximus does need a rest. Like he really, Maximus, Max, Harmony, and Domino all need a big rest. And then I'll go ahead and while we're waiting for the next race, I'm gonna train all the dogs who are not fatigued. All right, there we go. And down we go. Meanwhile, I need to come over here, give everybody their pets. Hello, my puppers! It is so exciting to see all of you again. It's been a long time since we've been to the races. All right, and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing next day. There's a lot of just sitting around uh, when we are racing our sled dogs. I like the idea though. Oh, there you go, Maximus. Slowly but surely getting less fatigued. I think my other puppers are almost, almost done being fatigued. All right, how are they doing? Jerk, are you doing a good job taking care of them? I hope you are. All right, next. There we go. Everpine, her favorite thing is to be pet. And I will admit, I have a soft spot for dogs who want to be pet. I kind of want to go ahead. What about Everpine and Domino? That might make a nice couple. Everpine, what, like, what skill level are you? Uh, she's a natural at the lead. Oh, no, no, wait, yeah, she's a natural at the lead. We had her at the wheel. I should probably swap her over to um, 
I should probably go ahead and swap her over to being at the lead instead. And then eventually her specialty hopefully will develop. And she does have a bit of a rapport with Domino. I would love to try to get favorite thing to be petting. That would be really nice. Uh, all right, anyway, carrying on. And Jerk, um, let's see. Yeah, you keep taking care of them. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and race. There we are. Oops, I didn't even look at what kind of race we're going in. <laughs> That's okay, we'll focus on it later. All right, Max is going to come up, Sierra is going to come up, Stryker is going to come up, and then Domino is going to come up. We need the money so that we can have more puppies, so we are going to race some of our best dogs. Don't worry about all these stats and things like that, my friends, um, you know, unless that happens to be your kind of thing. But just sit back, relax, toss some dog treats, and enjoy watching the races as we begin the new season of Dog Sled Saga. All right. Already I can see a few of you guys getting a little tired. I want to remember, you don't want to feed them right away when they get tired. You want to wait just a minute. And look at that, Max was already cheering on the team. They're totally used to this. Oh no, there's going to be a tree! Not a tree, just as my puppers need their food. Oh, phooey. All right, it's going to take longer for Domino to get his treat. Okay, come on. All right, there you go, guys. There you go. Uh-oh. There's a rock. Okay, we're good, we're good. Dang it, I really need to get better at tossing these. There you go, Striker. Good, Striker got a perfect treat. If you wait until their breath is just a little bit lower, perfect treats all around. All right, careful everyone. I don't want you guys getting fatigued before we really get going. Also, I really hate that the wind is making it hard for me to toss you your treats properly. Oh, that was so cool, Sierra! Calling out to everybody to make sure that they're really encouraged. All right, Sierra, can you grab this? Ah, it hit Max right in the head. All right, Sierra had a moment of panic where she couldn't figure out what was going on. All right, Striker, yes. All right, and then Domino, you're gonna need that food. Max, all right, Sierra, catch it! Ah, oh, phooey, if they catch the treat while, oh yes, while there is like, a boulder while they're jumping a boulder they get so much fame and I, I think that Max and um, I think that definitely Max and Domino are kind of in a fight uh, they're a little bit competitive fight is a strong word they are very competitive dogs after all they are experts at what they do by this point and oh dang it I really need to get better at doing that it's been a while I have to get my fumble fingers which is my fault Faults are when you mess up it, like when there's uh, a weakness that activates. And my fault is known as fumble fingers. When I start tossing the treats all over the place and they don't reach the dogs that they're supposed to. Oh, there was a tree. Come on, come on guys. Come on, Striker, grab this. Domino, Bax, good. Perfect treats all around. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Come on, Sierra, come on, Striker. We're so close, we're gonna get first place. Yes, this is what it means to have a winning team. There we go, guys. With our new winnings in our pockets, we are ready to begin this season of Dog Sled Saga off with a bang. So next time, we're gonna adopt out a few of our dogs, get ready for potentially breeding up a very cuddly pup, and search the kennels to see if there happens to be a new member to add into the team. Thank you guys so much for joining us. If you could, please toss a like down below to toss a dog treat to our puppers and if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing and i will see you guys next time bye bye